What's up, Doombots? Tony Scangili here with his introduction to spending money in Marvel Strike Force and pretty much any game. Uh, so among my frequently asked questions are usually, where do I spend money or is this offer worth it? And unfortunately, I don't often have a quick answer to that. This video series exists to review offers on the whole and determine whether they're a good return on investment or who is inclined to buy them. In this series, we're looking to classify spenders in the same way that Foxnext and other marketing demons do, and uh, rate offers accordingly. But before we can classify spenders, and long before we can even look at a single offer in this game, we need to iron out the definitions of two words people tend to use interchangeably. These words are not synonyms, they carry very different weights, and without determining the difference, we can't really determine what we consider ourselves or how Foxnext and other companies tend to sort us. Uh, and those words are value and worth. We'll start with value. Understanding value is, is pretty simple. The value of anything, especially a microtransaction or an in-game purchase, is the cost of the item as set by the developers. Value is prescribed or set before you even see it. It has very little to do with your opinion. Uh, for example, Foxnext values their standard RNG orbs, the premiums, the gold, etc., at uh, 450 cores. And they value 450 cores at roughly $6.98 USD. Uh, I got to that number by the lowest amount of money you could spend to obtain at least that many cores. It's a $1.99 offer and a uh, $4.99 offer. Foxnext believes that their premium orbs are worth $7.00. So that's the base number they will use to factor all of their offers regarding premium orbs, gold orbs, etc. Another example is their own premium currency, power cores. According to Foxnext, power cores are worth about 1.2 cents to 1.3 cents each. The amount of game currency you get per day does vary, but it's still going to be less than $5.00 worth of cores a day in the best case scenario. When you when you see what they've set the value at, you begin to understand how they're making offers. And again, value is not an opinion, but it's the number that the developers gave us to base all of their offers on in the future. And it's what they want us to spend in order to obtain. Value is what we are told. Worth is where our opinions come in. Worth isn't static like value, it's incredibly dynamic. Since it's the personal expected return that we get from purchasing the item relevant to its price. Worth is always comparative in nature in that you can determine if something is worth buying when you understand what it costs and what it gives you. Worth is ascribed or set when or after you see the offer or the item in the game. We do it all the time. Is it worth it to farm this node with our limited energy? Is it worth it to buy ABCs in the store with gold, which is a limited resource? The value is set, whether it's worth your investment or worth your expenditure, that's what changes. And sometimes there may be something you're working on or a specific goal you have that makes it worth more than it would on a normal day. Using the same numbers as before, we know that Foxnext sets their RNG orbs at 450 cores, or about $7 USD. Any player can look at that item, and without hesitation, immediately start to determine a bunch of really small things really quickly in their head. Like, is this item something I want? Is it something I need? Will it help me? Is the price point good? Do I have those resources? Is the price point terrible? Etc. And those are all matters of opinion based on where you are. For example, I understand that Foxnext thinks premium orbs and gold orbs are worth about $7, but I don't think 15 random character shards or 120,000 gold, the minimums or the most common pulls, regardless of what the best case scenarios are, are worth anywhere near that much. I can't consider these orbs worth more than like $2.50 and that's a personal opinion. And that doesn't mean that's what you have to believe on how you spend, but that's 
how I choose to spend. And because of that, not only will I rarely spend 450 cores on a gold orb or a premium orb, regardless of if I need gold or just another couple of character shards, if I see a cash offer in the store that has any of those in them, my brain immediately starts doing the math. Well, there's five premium orbs in this offer and it's $20. Well, that's way more than I expect to spend per premium orb at 250 so I'm just not going to buy it. Thank you. Next. That's how I buy. That's how a lot of people buy. Some people have very different approaches, and we'll get into that in a bit. But worth has nothing to do with Foxnex internal metrics or the community accepting price points or the amount of things that show up in an offer. Worth is simply the amount of value you expect from your spending. Not what they're telling us, what you expect. And that's where it's important to get into the classifications of spenders. And that's what the next video is going to go into detail about. But just as a little bit of a sneak peek, I'll give you the classifications now so you can start brainstorming as to whether or not you think you fit into one of these categories. In most games, there are about three classifications, but for some reason in this game, we added a fourth. It puts a nice little neat picture for everyone to see, and I'll put them up right here to kind of give you an idea. Any spender in Marvel Strike Force falls somewhere into one of these four categories. Guppy, Dolphin, Whale, or Kraken. A lot of people probably heard those and immediately placed themselves somewhere on this list. But to throw out a disclaimer, spenders are not classified, at least by me, by the amount of money they spend, but by the willingness they have to spend. Or more accurately, how strictly or loosely they define worth. Uh, that's pretty much all for this video. Uh, the next video in the series will go into details about them, show off a little bit of offers so you can get an understanding of where you fall inside those categories and whether or not the offers are worth it to me anyway but until that point i want to say thank you guys for watching i've been tony scongeli have a good night have a great day and i'll catch you later